Whether you're a Christian or you're uh, just looking for answers, maybe you've struggled with our question for today. Uh, the thing that sets Christianity apart from every other religion is the answer to this question. Why do I do good things? Uh, every other religion in some way answers that question along these lines. I do good things in order to appease God. Christianity is the only religion that answers the question this way. I do good things because God is already appeased. Uh, but I'm a good person. Shouldn't that be enough to get me into heaven? Well, there's a misconception, even among some Christians, about the purpose for which God gives us his commands. We call that uh, the, the law, the things God expects from us. Jesus says things like, love God above all else. He says, love your neighbor as yourself. Those are beautiful commands. The only problem is we can't live up to them. And so we misunderstand the purpose of the law if we think that it was given in order for us to get right with God. No, actually the Bible tells us it was given for the opposite reason, to show that we can't get right with God. Listen to what Paul says in Romans 3. It says, Therefore no one will be declared righteous in his sight by observing the law. Rather, through the law we become conscious of sin. In other words, the purpose of the law is to show us that we're not good people. It's a misnomer. So where does that idea come from, that we're good people? Well, to use a picture, we live in a world dimly lit and with sp people that look about the same spiritually. So in other words, um, I see you and, and you look at me and we think, well, okay, we're pretty good people uh, because we don't see all the blemishes because, because there's too much darkness. Uh, I'll put it this way. I have been places where I look into the mirror or I see myself on camera and I think, oh, that's the way I look. Do you know what the problem is? It's not that I changed the way I look, it's that it was too well lit, there was too much light, and I could see all of my blemishes. The law serves that same purpose. It's a bright light that shines on my life so that I have to see myself the way God sees me and make the conclusion that God makes of me, that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Well, then how do we get to heaven? Jesus told a story about a Pharisee and a tax collector that went up to the temple to pray. And the Pharisee began, he stood in front and he said, God, I thank you I'm not like other people, you know, other sinners like, like, uh, like the evildoers and the robbers and the adulterers or even like this tax collector. He went on and said, I, I, I fast twice a week and I give a tenth of all I get. In other words, God, I'm a good person. And then, it was the tax collector's turn. He stood at a distance, his hand on his chest, his fist clenched, his head down, and he just simply said, Lord, have mercy on me, a sinner. Do you know what Jesus said about those two? He said it was the tax collector that went home justified, forgiven. And why? Because the tax collector realized, I'm not a good person. Uh, he realized that he needed a savior. The tax collector was tired of the treadmill of trying to get in good with God by the works that he did. Are you tired of that treadmill too? Jesus says, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Well, how does he give us rest? By taking the burden on himself. Watch Jesus love his neighbor perfectly as he fills the needs of 5,000 who are in the need of food. Or as he feels, feel, feel, or fills the needs of, of, of one adulterous woman who is in need of forgiveness, saving her from a mob of self-righteous people who are about to stone her. Watch Jesus as he loves God perfectly in the Garden of Gethsemane and cries out to his Father in prayer and trusts him even in his darkest hour. Watch Jesus satisfy God's wrath over our sin by, by suffering and dying for every one of them on the cross. Friends, this is why you're going to heaven. So now what do we want to do? Well, we want to be good people. Not to earn God's favor, but because we already have it. Do you struggle to find time to connect with God? Well, click here to subscribe to our daily email where we'll make sure that you hear about God's promises, His love, and His amazing word.